Hello friends, today we will see how we can write complex maths in Google Forms. Fine, so first open open a Google Form. Now I am opening a other web page codecogs.com slash latex slash eqneditor.php. So remember the web page address again code cogs.com slash latex slash eqn editor dot php so you'll get this web page here we can type equations different formats are given whether you want exponents or fractions suppose we have to write exponents so write x raised to power 3 so you can see the output here at the bottom of the box and then plus sign and suppose we have to enter a fraction then click the fraction symbol a upon b so here in first curly the numerator and the second curly the denominator you can see the output at the bottom 23 upon 5 times is for multiplication you can get all the symbols here at the top and again other fraction we are entering fraction in the numerator 45 then in denominator we will write 23 you can see we have got the equation the equation will be shown at the bottom now we have to insert the brackets different brackets are available available now left and right right is the command and closing bracket you can see the output so it will adjust accordingly according to the contents bracket will now we will download the image this will be created in the form of image you can see at the bottom code cox image has been now we have seen that it has been downloaded now go to the google form insert image now we can drag the image that is downloaded here now it's, now you can see that it will appear here now you can see that equation in the form of image has been inserted now we'll see the preview how it will look in the form you can see this equation has been inserted in the form of image so you have seen the expression similarly for options also we can click the insert image then insert image dialog will come now we'll drag and drop other image which we have created in similar way drag and drop now again it will be inserted now it has been uploaded now you'll see that it is appear in the place of option one you can see the expression has appeared now again we'll see the preview now you can see that equal first the question part and then the options similarly you can insert other options also there are many other forms given here where you can insert different types of expressions like matrix if you want to insert fine different types of matrices are there so you have to practice a little bit all the different symbols everything we can insert here so equation will be saved in the form of image you will download the image and that image you have to insert in the google forms fine like here we are inserting a matrix so we have to specify a row and column then we can see that it will give you a format then we will insert the numbers you can see it the image is updating here a matrix has been created so so you can write all the complex equations here and then you download that image and that image you have to insert in the google form wherever it has been downloaded